Hey, hey everyone, Aaron from Boostock. So we've been playing with the old Patrol converting it from an old TB42 gasser to uh, RB. So all of this stuff's the same. We're using, an, I think it's an RD box actually. Uh, it's the same as the RB. So the shifter and everything fits into the console and everything correctly. Uh, you'll say, notice there's a bit of a lack of uh, engine mounts in this department. They had to go. They're about 44, 45 mil too far forwards for what we need to do. Ironically, the mounts bolt straight in, but puts the motor in the wrong position. So, in order for that to all work and the transfer and the factory shafts are going to work, uh, we're going to move the motor back. So, the mounts have come off. We'll uh, do a bit of hinky with some of this stuff and uh, make it all work. You'll also notice here in the engine bay, we've got a heap of wiring pulled out. So, we're going EFI, obviously. So, I'll throw a fuse box in here under this factory tin cover thing that the patrols have. Uh, the aircon is going to be rerouted. Re in factory form, goes up there, across there, over here. It does a whole circle of the world before it gets to the front uh, because of the turbo manifold. And I just want it tidy, and my OCD is just working overtime. It's going to go that way and come around the front here. Going to do a little bit of funky at the front. The condenser normally sits here, and there's not enough room for an intercooler and a grill. And I'm not one of those kind of guys who wants to hack the grill apart. So we're going to do a little bit of a shunt and a little bit of a tuck put the intercooler in the front and keep the grill looking like a factory unit so it's not going to look like one of those hats have chopped it to bits. It does have a little bit of rust, about the only rust in the old girl. Uh, very rare for one of these things. As anyone knows with things, they normally rust out through there on both sides. The top cowl up near the wiper motor normally copped it bad and in the corners it's normally really, really poor. This one's in excellent condition. The guy who owns the vehicle, he's been best friends with the guy who owned it before him, who's owned it for... I don't know, 20 years, more. <laughs> a long time. Uh, we'll notice that we've got these uh, factory heater hoses. And we all know I oh, my love for uh, doing braided hoses, so watch that space because they're getting converted. Uh, don't think there's going to be much call to convert them to RB for people, but if somebody asks, I'll do it. Uh, we're going to hack the loom up. Here's the original wire for the, for the coil. And there's a taco wire in this mess too. We'll use those to plug into the computer and tuck that nice and neatly. Uh, we'll re -loom all this when we're done, once we've got all the wires out. That runs across here on these things and goes down here and runs all the stuff. And in factory form, it ran up here and across here back to the, the Dizzy, which, well, I'm not doing a distributor. You can kick that idea. So we're kicking along. Things are moving along. Uh, so next, we'll swing the motor back in, center the engine, uh, make the mounts fit where they're supposed to be. We could have bought a different rail uh, and swapped it all out. It just reeked of effort. Uh, so I just decided we'd do this. The diff and everything all sits in the same place. The factory RB30 and RD28 sump fits. The, the rear hump, four-wheel drive sump fits. Everything else will work as factory. So the low mount turbo will fit without crashing into the rail. So the intercooler will pop through down here somewhere and come through here and over there and... It's all looking funky funky, it's all looking pretty good. So this is gonna be a good thing. It's still two and whatever they are, 2.2, 2.3 tons, so it's still pretty heavy. Uh, it's still got the wrong diff gears in it, so we'll do that after we get it registered. I think they're four ones, we need like four fours or four fives or four sixes, something. Uh, something lower, let this little thing spin. I'm gonna chuck everything I can at this thing to try and make it do a bit of torque. The owner's odd 60 odd year old, <coughs> old cranky pants, so, uh, He's not into race car in it, so it doesn't have to be a uh, nine-second four-wheel drive, so we're not too stressed about that. But yeah, we're coming together. I'll do the next update once we actually get the motor in and making it look like something-something. Cheers. See ya.